Hi everyone, this morning we're filming from VBAT Books, so if you hear anything in the background, that's just people reading and enjoying this wonderful bookstore. I like this place a lot, they've got a great selection of cheap English reads, uh, much cheaper than in the rest of Ukraine. I have to say, one of the odd things I've noticed about Ukraine is that books in English are quite expensive. Yeah, that, that is less cheap. More expensive than you'd expect, more expensive than in Britain even, uh, even ones that are published here, as always. Lena's going to be asking me some questions, and I'm going to be doing my best to answer them in an interesting way. So, Lena, what have you got for me? So, I would like to know what uh, was the best book you've ever read? That is a tough question. When I was studying English at university, we had to read a lot of books. But I am a big fan of the author Virginia Woolf even if I often forget whole quotes and sections of her books, mm -hmm. the feeling, the emotions they bring out in me, that sort of modernist writing, something I really enjoy. And I swear I did not pose this. We were just sat here. Here's one of her books, one of my favorites. It's Orlando. So I would absolutely recommend this to anybody who wants to start taking a look at Virginia Woolf. So I reckon that Virginia Woolf is your favourite author. One of my favourite authors, absolutely, certainly. Although I must also say I have a bit of a passion for uh, personal favourite guilty pleasures. Another one we found just on the table over there, Terry Pratchett, the original covers. So if I'm feeling a bit down, these are my comfort books, the ones I reach for when I need a bit of a pick-me-up. I think that I need to give it a try. Maybe, maybe. Uh, might not be your cup of tea, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, and do you have a favourite character? That is a great question. Uh, I like the character of Orlando, but I tend to think of favourite characters more like archetypes or brands, so the kind you find in comic books. Uh, Speaking of which, again, just over there, this is such a great variety of books available here. Mm -hmm. They have Sandman, not my favourite character, but a book with many great characters, mm -hmm. definitely recommended. And I would say, if I had to pick a character, mm -hmm. <sighs> let's go with graphic novels and comic books. I quite like Superman. Who doesn't? Mm -hmm. And what's your favourite uh, genre? That I couldn't tell you. I like lots of different genres. Right now, I'm in the middle of reading a lot of non-fiction, but I think that's mostly related to work. Uh, so I like learning a lot, but you can definitely learn a lot through fiction, through magic realism, through science fiction. That's another comfort genre for me. If I'm feeling a bit down, I might reach for some Philip K. Dick. Uh, but that's more of a guilty pleasure once again. So I'm, I flit from genre to genre. I like them all. Cool. Because I love dystopian novels. And oh, yeah, I'm that's true. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Orwell. Well. Yeah, and Huxley. Huxley. Yes. And Zemaita? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, Excellent. Me is great. Uh, and what is the longest book you've ever read? That would be Ulysses, I think. I think Ulysses is quite long by James Joyce. Maybe not even that long, though, compared to some of the uh, Ukrainian and Russian literature that you can read. Uh, compared to that, it's probably fairly short, but I don't know. Uh, have you ever uh, read uh, Tolstoy? No. I am willing to admit I have not read Tolstoy. I have not read Dostoevsky. I will say, when I do read books... They tend to be in the 20th century or later, but that's just personal preference. So I'm a bad English lit student. Uh, I'm the kind of person who doesn't read any of the Victorian canon, if he can help it. Although I did read Middlemarch. That's another quite long book as well. No? I used to remember enjoying it, even though I remember nothing about it, because it was for study. Yeah, it's so long. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, have you ever met a famous author? Yes, I have met a famous author. In fact, I met uh, Neil Gaiman, who wrote Sandman uh, when he was signing the Nancy Boys, the sequel to American Gods, which is now quite a popular television show. So take a look at that if you don't have the time to read the book. But you should make the time to read the book. Do, do you know Ukrainian authors? I have not met many. I've met some Ukrainian graphic artists who've been quite famous on the uh, comic book front. 
but I'm yet to personally meet many Ukrainian authors, so I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, <coughs> books or movies? That's a terrible question. I know. Like, how could you do that to me? I could bore us to death about the differences between adaptations, but books are books and movies are movies. I will say that many great books have been turned into great movies, mm -hmm. but it's very rare that a great movie gets turned into a good book. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, is that a book you've read more than once? Lots of them. I am another one of those awful readers who, instead of reading something new and enriching themselves, will go back to the same books over and over again. Again, like comfort food is the way I picture it. So I will certainly reread Orlando. I will certainly reread Terry Pratchett. Rather than broadening my horizons, I'm trying to fix that, though. Mm -hmm. And what's the best time for reading? The best time. Mm -hmm. Any time you get a chance, any time I get some free time, but usually in the evening or on the weekend, mm -hmm. with a cup of tea. Any time you've got a cup of tea in hand is a good time to read. And uh, what factors are important for you while picking a book? I'm a big fan of very over-the-top, ornate language. Although, again... Plot and character are very important too, but I like it when the author uses different forms of language and different structures. Basically, if you can tell that the author really loves what they're writing, it comes mm -hmm. through in the way they put the sentences together. There's a love behind the words that are picked, so I do like it when somebody clearly enjoys the language they're using. Mm -hmm. Which is not to say that I don't read books which were written by foreign authors and then translated into English. Those are also great. But certainly if it's written in English from an English-speaking author, mm -hmm. you can definitely feel something in the language when they love what they're doing. My example there would be Nabokov. Oh. Absolutely shows how much he loves English. And I imagine it's the same in Russian. Yeah. It's quite the linguist. That's, that's true. And what was the last book you read? I'm currently reading Sapiens on the recommendation of a student, actually, uh, which was originally speaking of books that were translated, written in Hebrew, and he read it in Russian, and I'm reading it in English. So hopefully between the two of us, we'll actually get some idea of what's going on in this uh, <laughs> anthropological tome. That is the book I'm reading currently, and the next book I will read is a book about... Efficiency in Measurements. It's a very weird book about uh, scientific study and the way things have become more precise. Yes. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure talking uh, with you. Thank you very much, Lena. Bye for now and see you all again soon.